the format of being robot. A strange thing happened to me in Minecraft. I'm not saying it was Hero Brian, or no, or Entity 303, or some other fan made bullshit. The fact is, I have no idea how this thing happened, and the reason why I share this story with you, is maybe someone out there experienced similar things, and may have an idea of what the hell was this. Everything started like your typical Minecraft creepypasta. It was raining outside, and none of my friends were online on our private server, so I decided to make a single player world. I will be honest with you, I play single player very rarely in Minecraft. The last time when I made a single player world was back in 2011, with data 1.7.3, and I kept playing on that world for a few years. Then I stopped with Minecraft until in 2016, my friends set up a private server where we could play. This made me play Minecraft again after such a long break. But now, let's return to the story. So, I created a new single player survival world. I spawned in a forest biome, near a small lake. I started the routine things that every player does in their new world, collecting wood, building my first house, making a crafting table, making basic tools and so on. I first realized something is a bit odd about this world, was when I started collecting wood. I noticed that parts of some trees are missing, as if someone punched out a block from the tree, so there was nothing between wood and wood. This occurred at only some trees, but still it was quite odd. Nevertheless, I thought of it as a generation error. The second strange thing that caught my eye was when I wanted to make a bed. As you know, wool is needed for a bed, so I went out to search for some sheep I can kill. However, I quickly realized there were no mobs. Literally, there was not a single mob anywhere. I spent almost an hour looking for some sheep, but the world was totally empty. I thought maybe the world did not load incorrectly, so I quit to the main menu and restarted my world. But nothing changed, the world was still as empty as it was before. Well, at this point, I was still not thinking anything supernatural. I thought, maybe it's a glitch, or I spawned at a part of the world where there are no mobs, and that's all. Anyway, I returned to my house because it was getting dark. Fortunately, I memorized the coordinates of my house, so I found my way back quickly even without a compass. Without a bed, I was forced to spend the night in my house, so I closed myself into my small 6x6 wooden shack, which I built near the lake at my spawn point. When the night came, I spotted another odd thing. Just like in daytime, there were no hostile mobs spawning. I checked my difficulty setting, it was set to normal. At this point, I was pretty sure that this must be a world generation error, so I restarted my laptop to see if that helps. Laptop restarted, Minecraft restarted, and guess what? No changes. I started to worry now. How am I supposed to get food, for example, if there are no mobs? Holy shit, food. I quickly looked at my hunger bar, because I have been playing a lot, I thought I'd be very hungry. But it was still full. At this time, I had a mixed feeling. A part of me was happy, because for some reason, I was not hungry despite the huge distance I traveled, and amount of time I spent playing. But I was also surprised and worried, as this was not right. I was playing on normal difficulty, an in-game day passed, and I was not hungry the whole time. Anyway, I shook it off. The night passed, and another in-game day came. Just like yesterday, there were still no mobs around. I looked around a bit, but saw nothing. Thinking about what to do, I decided to go mining, maybe there'll be some hostile mobs in a cave. Also, I wanted to obtain some iron, so I could make more advanced tools and armor. I searched around, looking for a cave, when something caught my eye. I found a big, square-shaped hole on the ground in the forest, a few minutes away from my house. It was about 15 by 15 blocks wide and long. I looked down to see how deep it was. The bottom of the hole was about 20 blocks down from the top, so we can call it fairly deep. For a moment, I was hesitating about going down there, but then I thought about what I know about diamonds. Diamonds spawn at level 11, and this hole, or cave, or whatever, call it what you want, looked promising. I mean, the deeper it is, the more chance you have to find rare ore. 
I finally decided to descend into the cave, and see if I can find anything down there. I used my stone shovel, and some dirt blocks to reach the bottom. I already found some coal before, and I crafted two stacks of torches, so I had sources of light with myself. I was ready to go into the cave. When I reached the bottom, the first thing I noticed was the entrance to the cave was a smooth, one by two hole. When I went through it, the cave looked like a normal cave in the game. There were two paths, one to the left, which seemed to go even deeper, and one to the right, which went straight. I decided to check out the right path first, but after a while, it was a dead end, so I walked back and descended into the other passage, which led down into the very deep part of the cave. I pressed F3 to check my depth. The entrance of the cave, the one by two hole was at level 35. Looking from the top, the path seemed to go down to at least level 20, or even deeper, so I went down, hoping to find diamonds. During walking down the passage, I noticed there are no ores in the cave. Not even coal or iron, which are relatively common. In fact, there was not even dirt or andesit, or other types of blocks. The cave was made out of solid stone, and nothing else. Also, unsurprisingly, there were no hostile mobs in the cave, but not only hostile mobs, there were no bats either. The passage quickly led to a dead end, but there was a single hole in the wall. Through the hole, I spotted something that looked like wooden planks. I quickly destroyed the wall, and then I saw a mine shaft. I was very happy at this time, I couldn't wait to scavenge the mine cart chests, hoping to find some valuable loot in them. I started to explore the mine shaft, but it did not take long to find something odd again. At some places of the floor, wooden planks were removed. As if I was playing on multiplayer, and someone has already been there, and get out a few blocks from the floor. However, there were no torches placed down, that would indicate someone was there. While lurking around the tunnels of the mine shaft, something popped up in my head. It was about 20 minutes now since I entered the cave, but I did not hear any cave sounds. As you know, when you enter a cave in Minecraft, it will only take a few minutes, and you'll hear one of those creepy ambient sounds that play when you are in a dark area. But this cave was dead silent. The only things I could hear were my footsteps, and the sounds when I placed down a torch to make some light in the dark. Other than that, nothing. Nevertheless, I kept looking for mine cart chests in the empty, dark corridors of the mine shaft and then, all of a sudden, I saw something at the end of one of the tunnels. A very faint light, which seemed very similar to the light of a torch. I decided to check it out. I started to walk towards the light, but then, something broke the silence. I heard probably the creepiest sound I've ever heard in my life. It made me jump a bit, as it was very loud, very creepy, and it was very sudden after all the silence. I can't compare it to anything, the only thing I can say about it that it was loud, so loud it almost hurt my eardrums. When my sanity returned, I quickly started to sprint towards the light at the end of the tunnel, placing down torches while running. Finally, I reached the end of the tunnel. I was right. There was a torch placed down, and next to it was a ladder, which was leading up to somewhere. For a moment, I paused the game, and brushed my eyes to see if I was dreaming. But I wasn't. Indeed, there was a ladder and a torch placed down on the stone wall. I had to quit to the menu to check if I wasn't playing multiplayer. But I wasn't. It was in the single player world I just created. I climbed up the ladder to see where it led. It went up for a mere 40 blocks or so, until I reached the top. But when I reached the top, I found something that almost made my heart stop. The ladder led up to a room made out of wooden planks. I looked around, and saw a door, which led outside. In the room, there were three double chests, a furnace, a crafting table, and a bed. There were also torches placed down in the room, but the funniest thing is, there was a painting on one of the walls. It was that big painting with that blue skull-like thing. I went out the door that led outside into a roofed forest biome. I took a look on the house from the outside. It was a small shack made out of dark oak planks. There were torches placed on and around the house. The roof was made out of dark oak steps. Also, next to the house, there was a small garden, barricaded by dark oak fence. In the garden, there were already sowed seeds, and wheat was slowly growing out of them. I had to pause the game for a minute to collect my thoughts. 
Lots of questions popped up in my head. What is this place? Is it a wrongly generated NPC village with a single house? Or a new feature, which spawns random houses in your world? But even if it was a new secret feature, that does not explain the lack of mobs, the missing wood blocks, and the other odd things I encountered in this world. When I went back into the game, I decided to take a better look inside the house. I checked out the furnace, there was already cooked chicken in it, 12 pieces exactly. I checked out the double chests, all of them contained many items, used tools, weapons, various blocks, used golden and iron armor, crafting materials, and many more things. I felt like I was playing multiplayer, and I stumbled upon a random player's home. This was just too much for me. I quit the world, and closed Minecraft. I couldn't believe what I experienced. Tons of questions emerged from my mind. I thought I should share this with someone, other players must know about this. I decided to start a thread on the Minecraft forums, to see if someone else maybe knows what the hell was going on. I wrote down every single thing I experienced in the thread. I also logged back into Minecraft, and took a few screenshots of the house I found, and posted them into the thread. I double checked to see if I wrote down everything. Then, I submitted the post, and waited for an answer. I knew that other players will likely think I'm trolling, but I did not care. I was hoping, maybe there is one, single Minecraft player who experienced the same things like me, and maybe he or she knows more than me. It didn't take long for my thread to be removed. I was not surprised. Someone must have reported my thread as a troll, and the moderators deleted it. The questions remained unanswered. I did not want to let this whole thing go. I wanted answers. I wrote an email for Mojang, in which I wrote down my experiences. It took three days for them to answer me. One of their employees answered, I don't want to tell you the name, but this is what they answered. We've read your email about your experiences regarding Minecraft. I hope you understand we don't like to talk about matters like this, but we can advise you to delete your world as fast as you can. I was baffled. Mojang surely knew something about this, but they refused to tell the truth. I wrote another email to them, demanding answers. Two weeks passed, and still no answer. Now, the only clues I had were the world data files. I decided to look into them, maybe there is something I can find in them. I went into my Minecraft folder, and opened the world's folder. To my surprise, there was nothing in it, except one, single OGG file. It was named, Tom.OGG. I opened Winamp, and played the sound. It was the same, creepy, disturbing loud sound I heard in that world. I uploaded the sound for you so you can hear it for yourselves. I lowered the audio a bit, so it won't destroy your eardrums. So, right now, I'm without clues. I haven't opened that world again in Minecraft, in fact, I rarely play Minecraft since this incident. When I play, I only play on multiplayer with my friends, but I still have a strange feeling while playing. That cliche feeling, when somebody is watching you. One thing is for sure, this incident still haunts me, and I still had a thousand unanswered questions. So, this is my story. If any one of you has experienced anything similar, or has an idea about what I experienced, tell me. Let's hope we will find an explanation that will answer the question that has been bothering me for weeks now. What happened in my empty world? Thanks for your attention.